also be talking about free uh, free tools in, in this you know session so you have a lot of free tools you did not need not spend any uh, money to start you know building your personal brand uh, all these are excuses that you need a website or something like that you don't need that social media channels are freely available you have youtube at your disposal you have podcast you have twitter linkedin then we have clubhouse also some people are using clubhouse to generate leads so yeah okay ayushi asks uh, how do you share your portfolio how do you share your portfolio okay first of all i uh, do not share my portfolio to be very honest i have been a part of a lot of whatsapp groups and i am still a part and whenever i just you know um, message somebody directly that you know this is something which i can do the the moment uh, the one thing they ask is you know give me your portfolio so i do not stick to this i i don't know i don't encourage portfolio uh making portfolios what i do is whenever there is i know th this takes a bit of more time than the usual thing but what i do is whenever there is some client or if they talk about let's say if this uh, if there is somebody who comes from a fashion industry so i always send uh, that client the relevant links where i have worked on fashion industry so that is what i stick to because when you are sending a set portfolio you are not really fulfilling the demands and i don't work for a specific industry i have tech clients i have uh, clients from uh, from you know uh, blockchain industry then i have uh, clients from fashion industry food industry so i don't stick to an uh, stick to industry yes there could be a uh, possibility that you know that i can include all these links in my portfolio but i don't because i am you can say i am lazy on that part or whatever but i don't really believe in portfolios because i believe sending the relevant links that really increases your chances of you know getting selected or getting shortlisted when the client is looking for because there are many people uh, the client is approaching before finalizing one so this is how i do yeah i know it takes a lot of time but i send customized proposals and customized uh, portfolio you can say in that case yeah okay i hope it answers the question let's start with the session now and meanwhile we, we would be like uh, taking the questions yeah, yeah. Okay. okay so uh, first of all let me just introduce myself so hi this is kavita gupta you can google me by the name of branded kavita on all the social media channels i am available by the name of branded kavita now the first question that everybody asks why your name is branded kavita kavita gupta is a very very common name and i really wanted to make myself searchable on google and really have a personal brand built i have a team working with me team of writers and designers and uh, i sat with them uh, virtually and i asked them what uh, name should i keep for my brand so they were like uh, should i keep it as branded kavita because i'm working in personal branding field so they were like yes kavita gupta uh, i mean branded kavita is much better than kavita gupta because already there is one player in the industry not in our industry but there is one person by the name of kavita gupta who's very 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 famous in the blockchain field and she uh, she has an amazing presence and i am second i mean didn't want to be second kavita gupta on google so that's why for building a personal brand i kept my name as branded kavita so hi this is branded kavita and uh, now let me tell you how my personal branding journey started so i started working in the year 2008 when i started writing and i also took up different jobs uh, which you can check out on my linkedin profile so i have a lot of experience of working in corporate sector and the last job uh, cut to i mean i would say last job which i did was uh, as a pr and content head in one of the blockchain technology companies in mumbai and uh i was uh, i was good i was working there i was taking care of social media handles and everything and i had a good freelancing experience i have more than 550 uh, reviews on fiverr so i started my freelancing journey um on fiverr and 
I have worked with a lot of clients and I've worked with a lot of brands writing for them. So I have more than 10 years of experience in writing. So it's been a decade I've been writing. So writing is something which is really close to my heart. And, you know, after doing freelancing for 10, 12 years and, uh, you know, working in different sectors as a PR, as a content person and, you know, so I was like, after uh, working for so long, I wanted to do something of my own. So after uh, like three, three and a half years ago, I uh, left my this job of PR and content head because there were some some conditions, you know, uh, by the founders of the company that we want to. Uh, convert this uh, full-time position into a freelancing kind of a structure so I was like no I'm not okay if I want to do freelancing why would I be doing for one company then I would be doing it for uh, many more people right I would want to uh, interact with many more people so then I left this job and and when I was uh, sitting one once and sipping uh, my hot water uh, I came across Mel Robbins I'm sure many of you would be aware of this life coach and motivational speaker she does a lot of stuff so uh, so I was I, I when when I saw this uh, um, motivational speaker Mel Robbins I was like I also want to do something like this so I assertive I got a certified I, I mean I uh, became a certified life coach and after uh, getting certification as a life coach I was like you know I now I want to do webinars and uh, I uh, recorded the entire course on women empowerment and then I started doing webinars and there was the time when I understood no it's not really that easy which I was thinking I was like I am very good at my craft then why am I not able to sell anything through my webinars so this happened and I failed miserably because I have seen people who really do not want to talk about their failures but I have no problem because um, this is where you learn from so I failed miserably in these webinars and then I understood that why are people not buying from me? Then I understood that people really don't know me and if they don't know me, why would they buy from me? So this was a breakthrough that I got and then I started working on my personal brand. Uh, I searched for all the social media channels. I did my research. I was like, which is the most organic platform right now? Because I do not have money to spend on these platforms. So I saw that LinkedIn was growing a lot. I mean, three or uh, uh, two, two and a half years ago, there were a lot of content creators who were starting their journey on LinkedIn. Okay. And that, that was the time I started my journey from LinkedIn. And I wanted that, yes, I will be making it big. I took up a few courses also on LinkedIn. And from there, my personal branding journey started. In the first year, I would want to highlight this thing. This is very, very important. Please make a note of this thing. When I started my journey, I started posting random content, which is fine. You can also do that. But I did it for an year. My post got a lot of views. Some posts even passed millions of views, but I didn't get clients from that. Okay. And after an year or so, I understood that, yes, I started getting clients, but I didn't get clients of my own choice okay and after an year or so i thought that i really want to work in this personal branding industry i want to be a personal brand strategist so what is the content should i put so obviously i have to put content related to personal brand then i started sharing my stories of building personal brand and my interactions with clients with prospects, what questions they have. And from that, my audience started learning. And then I started getting clients of my own choice. So since then, I have been working in personal branding journey, personal branding, you know, uh, domain. And it's been great. And I've been, uh, I have, a, I've gained a lot of exposure. And from LinkedIn, I built my presence on Twitter. I built my presence on, I opened my own podcast, which is not that active. But yes, I am trying my best to get active on my podcast. I have a YouTube channel, which again is not that active. But again, I'm trying because for me, 2022 is the video year. I have to make it big in the video and the audio world okay and plus i have a good presence on quora i have a good presence on medium 
so these are the channels i have built my personal brand after i you know started building presence on linkedin i will soon be starting my journey as a fat loss expert also wherein i would be helping people what i gain from the online health club i would be <coughs> Uh, helping, helping others, others also lose, lose weight, weight if they, they want, want to. to so this, this is about me this is what i am doing right now yeah i'm pretty much active on twitter and linkedin these days so now what's the reason personal branding still scares entrepreneurs so this is one thing i uh, have um you know realized after talking to so many people after uh, getting on calls there is this thing that you know <clears throat> let's say a few days ago i was talking to somebody and what happened is this person he was like i am willing to spend this much amount of money and but i want these many people registering for my workshop so i was like i don't do this kind of a work that you give me particular amount of money and i give you this, these many enrollments into your course no i don't do that so he was like then why should i be paying you why should i be giving you this money i should pay this money to somebody who can get this thing done because if i put money in personal branding so it will take me let's say 6 6 months or maybe an year to get those amount of leads then why should i be waiting for 12 months uh you know i should uh, i should uh, i can get this work in, done in one month uh, giving money to somebody so i was like yes you can go ahead but i don't do this kind of a work i work in personal branding thing personal branding domain and it's not a one time or it's not an overnight thing it's a it's some it's something which will keep on going it's something an on it's it's like an ongoing journey and you really have to stick you know to this journey to make it big and if you want to have a compound effect in the coming years if you really want to make it big let's say somebody like elon musk gary v uh, or maybe digital pratik in india webhav sisinthi ranveer alahabadia so if you want to make it big like these people you really need to spend on personal branding so uh, let's see now what are the reasons actually entrepreneurs are really scared of building a personal brand so please uh, move to the next slide uh, harshita can you hear me yeah great so first of all let's say i give you this this example i'll give you one more example it's their ignorance they do not know about how personal branding works uh, once i was talking to one of my colleagues from the previous company and he approached me for uh, branding we are building a personal brand and he was like i whatever we will be working on it will be 5 months project so i was like what after 5 months so people are being um, i mean they are ceos and founders of the companies but they are that much ignorant that uh, they feel that after 5 months there won't be any uh, use of uh posting about their pers- i mean building their personal brand so they uh, they think that it's a time bound process no building a personal brand is not a time bound process if it would have been a time bound process elon musk wouldn't have uh, wouldn't continue posting till now you have seen the effect when elon musk says that tesla will accept bitcoin how the uh, price of bitcoin rises and if he says that no tesla won't be accepting bitcoin as a payment mode it gets down why because uh, elon musk has built that kind of a branding that kind of a personal brand so there are many ceos and founders in here the startup owners here who do not understand how personal branding works they do not even know the meaning of personal brand i have seen people talking to me and they they say we are willing to put this much of uh, money we want 10000 followers in a month so you, you can, can get 10000 i'm not saying it is impossible you can get but for that what what techniques would you be applying how much aggressive you would be in marketing not the paid marketing organic marketing how much would you be comfortable doing that Uh, are you willing to come on camera and shoot yourself because everybody wants to buy from people we know that people buy from people people do not buy from brands so they are they are 
um looking to see the person behind the brand so are you willing to come in front of camera no they are not are you uh, uh, willing to do a, a podcast no they are not so they are not they do not have time but they want their personal brand to be built and they also want on the top of it they also want 10000 followers in a month so it's their ignorance and they are willing to throw money but they want the set results within a month or so Okay? okay so this so is their ignorance second is they look for perfection and personal branding is about putting yourself out there and not about perfection yes this is something which i have seen many a times and this has ended up these people not even taking a single action why i have worked with one of the us clients and he was like i want these graphics to be perfect so he hired a designer he also asked me to hire the designer he spent thousands and thousands of us dollars i charged him a good amount nothing happened why uh, this is because he was looking for perfection everywhere whether it's in content whether it's on graphics and nothing got posted he had this amazing pdfs built nothing happened if you see if you look at my ppt there is nothing no image nothing i am not saying people do not like images they do like but the knowledge sharing has to be at its best level if you have good images in front of you but you do if you are attending a session and the person who is sharing his or her knowledge doesn't add value to you so what's the point so i do not look for perfection what i look for is I, uh, am i able to add value to the people who are listening to me or who are watching me that is the most thing that uh, you know matters to me that is how you build a personal brand and are you being your real self no so they are looking for perfection the people i have a clear view on this thing people who are looking for perfection and they really want everything to be pitch what you say, what you say is like up to the mark and 100% good i don't believe that they pe- those people are able to do anything why because they don't end up they end up doing nothing why because they keep on thinking bhai hum aisa karenge waisa karenge ye karenge nothing happens at the end of the day next is the startup owners who are bootstrap think it involves a lot of money this is a myth that building a personal brand involves a lot of money first of all everybody here listening to me everybody has a, a smartphone i'm assuming that because i know everybody nowadays at least they can afford a smartphone so you have smartphone you have mobile data in your phone or you have a wifi at your home okay so all you need is a phone and internet connection or maybe mobile data whatever just internet in your phone these two things are more than enough to build a personal brand all social media channels you name it you have all for free nothing is a paid if a social media is a paid channel do not subscribe to it i would say okay because you already have a good social media channels at your disposal which you can use to build a personal brand now if you think about building a personal brand there are three to four con- content types not more than that first is text if i talk about text linkedin is the platform to go okay also twitter twitter doesn't involve much of imagery but you can make use of gifs that is gifs and those images which is fine but uh, again twitter is again a text platform so second content type is audio you can make use of podcast anchor is a free podcast tool okay you don't need to even buy that fancy mic you can use the headphones that you have or without headphones i have seen i have also recorded podcast on anchor earlier so what i have seen is when i use the recorder in my phone without the headphones it sounds better okay with headphones it doesn't sound better or with that uh, fancy mic also it doesn't sound better because then it catches the surrounding noise as well okay second content type is audio third is video then you have youtube you can you have reels instagram reels you have linkedin you can also you know repurpose the content and put it on other social media platforms let's say i download the instagram reels i upload the same videos on linkedin i upload the same videos on youtube shorts okay so you can also do that okay so the uh, third one is the video then you have fourth one is the graphics that is the image the infographics 
you have a very fantastic tool that is called Canva at your disposal, which is free. You do not have to buy the premium subscription. You can just go for the free subscription. You have a lot of templates at your disposal. You can use that tool to make your personal brand using graphics. So these are the four content types you can easily, uh, you know, uh, make use of and you can just make a personal brand out of that. Let's say if you want to make a meme, there are a lot of free meme apps that you can create memes and upload on Twitter, upload on LinkedIn, you know. And for example, let's say if you are good in text, you can go on Quora, build your presence there also. Uh, so this is how startup owners can, uh, you know, uh, uh, they think that there is a lot of money involved in making personal brand. No, they are not willing to put their time and efforts. Okay, so that is the one that is very important thing. They are bootstrap. I understand everybody who start their journey, they do not have money in their accounts. So what do they need to do? They really need to understand that they just need a phone and a phone with an internet connection. That's it. Even if you do not have laptop, that is fine to start with. Okay. okay, and, and then, then the, the content, content repurposing game, like, like I said, that the reels from the Instagram can be uploaded to LinkedIn. For example, if you are creating a post on LinkedIn, the headlines from the post, the main pointers from the post can become a snippet on Twitter. So this is how you have to repurpose the content. Now, the next point is they think it involves a lot of time, which is actually a myth. Let's say if you are creating content for every uh, platform uh, separately then obviously it is going to take a lot of time so you have to sit with yourself have a content strategy have a content calendar make use of that and repurpose the content so that at least you can be active on two to three social media platforms okay and you have to learn the art of content repurposing ki ek bar content banaya usse kitni bar hum log use kar sakte hain alag alag platforms ke zariye and uske tarike se so that's very important next is this is the biggest problem i have seen the last point reluctant to share their personal self with others uh, startup owners they really want to achieve it big and I have seen a lot of people who come uh, land up on my LinkedIn page. They say you have a very impressive LinkedIn profile and uh, you post a lot of content on LinkedIn. We also want to have that kind of LinkedIn profile and content, you know. Um, Mm, so I say, okay, fine. And then they hire me. And when we start the engagement, they are not ready to share anything about their themselves personal. They just want to go tech, tech, tech. If they come from a technical industry, they just want to talk about technical um, thing. And without, you know, a big, big content, they, they want us to write. We write that content, we post that content, and that content doesn't get engagement. Why? Because there is no personality of the writer there because they really don't get they just want that no we will not be sharing anything about our personal life on any of the platforms because this is not where we come from okay so i do not get this thing why are they so reluctant to share their personal self with others because this will not help them build a personal brand so everybody who's listening to me out there who wants to build a personal brand see Everybody can achieve it. Listen to me very carefully. Everybody can achieve it. Everybody can do it. But can you do it in your own way? That is what matters the most. Because let's say if there is Ayushi here, she wants to uh, uh, do it in her own way. So that is the best thing. Otherwise, if you try to copy somebody that this is what, let's say if I follow Ranveer Alabadia, if I want to be like him, no. I shouldn't be like him. I I aspire to be as big as him, but I have my own way of putting out content. I have my own way of putting out myself there. So that is the most important thing. Please move to the next slide. I hope you understood what are the myths that people have. This applies to entrepreneurs. This applies to freelancers. This applies to marketers. Everybody out there, um, I don't know what myths they have when they want to build their personal brand. So Harshita, let's move yeah I have one question and then I guess we can move yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. Uh, as you told about the myths and the uh, reasons behind why um, a personal brand is not still uh, leveraged by the entrepreneurs I have this question that most of the people uh, struggle with uh, creating a huge content like for various platforms suppose they are on Instagram suppose they are on Twitter LinkedIn and everywhere so <clears throat> 
sometimes it happens that they have uh, a, uh, like they have batch content creation uh, they have batch content create uh, uh, created and sometimes it happens that they have uh, nothing to post out so how to actually leverage that and uh, what do you think should we start with actually different platforms at once or should be like go step by step one platform after the other okay, okay. That's, that's a, a very very, very good, good question, question. So, so first, first of all, all Harshita, what, what we would, uh, what, what we should, we should do, do is, is let's say if there, there is one uh, entrepreneur uh, who is, let's say, one man, one, one man army, he doesn't have a team, he doesn't, he doesn't have, have money in his account, account and, and he, he wants, wants to grow. To grow. So, so obviously, obviously when, when he is starting his journey, he really need to understand and know himself. कि भाई मुझे मेरे पास टाइम कितना है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ही डज ही नीड्स टू नो व्हाट इज बिकॉज मनी इज आउट ऑफ क्वेश्चन बिकॉज ही डजंट हैव मनी वी आर एज्यूमिंग दैट ओके बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द मोस्ट ऑफ अस स्टूड एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम और आर स्टैंडिंग स्टिल स्टैंडिंग एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम दैट वी आर स्टूडेंट्स और समथिंग लाइक दैट वी डू नॉट हैव मनी टू स्पेंड सो मनी इज आउट ऑफ क्वेश्चन नाउ देयर देयर आर ओनली टू थिंग्स दैट इज वन इज टाइम एंड सेकंड इज एफर्ट Obviously, Obviously, when you would, you would have, have time, time, then only you would be applying efforts. efforts. Or, or there, there has, has to be that willingness to apply the efforts. efforts then only you will be putting yourself hundred percent there. there. So, so now, now comes, comes the time. time. Let's say you are into a nine to five job. job. Now, now you, you have, have to think ki weekly how much time, time you have to allot to content creation because, because it's not, not just about content creation. creation. It's, it's about content posting also. After that, it's about engaging with the users also. I mean the audience, and then also. So engaging, engaging with, with their, their content. content if you, you look, look at, at my, my twitter, twitter I, have i have the entire, entire team working, working with me just, just because, because i want, I want to be very much active on twitter, twitter. i am I posting they are posting they are engaging i am engaging everybody, everybody is doing that, that. but so let's say if a person who is starting out let's say if he starts with four platforms in the beginning so how would that person grow why because चार प्लेटफॉर्म्स में एक साथ करना है एक ही आदमी है एंड ही इज इन टू नाइन टू फाइव जॉब एज वेल सो हाउ वुड ही डू दैट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टाइम he has, he has to, to look at, at his, his time. time so how, how what, what kind, kind of bandwidth he has that, that is very very very, very important. important let's say he After, after sitting, sitting with himself he understand that he has that only one hour to dedicate to uh, you know one, one hour weekly to dedicate to the and uh, to uh, to this, this content, content creation process, process. So, so obviously, obviously then, then he can, can only start his journey on one, one platform, platform okay, okay. Once, once he once he starts his journey then he would understand no abhi because you know once you start doing something let's say we always say i was listening to one of the podcast early morning and i I listen, uh, I was I listening to this Atomic, Atomic Habits, Habits uh, podcast, podcast, and, and uh, the uh, it, it said, said that, that uh, it, it doesn't, doesn't take more time, time to create a habit. It just, it just takes two minutes, two minutes to create a habit, habit to build a habit. A habit. So let's, let's say if I start, I start reading today, today I, I read, read two pages, pages, which takes me two to three minutes to read that pair two uh, two, uh, two pages. pages. Then, then let's say tomorrow, tomorrow I read those two pages, pages next two pages. Then, then, then day after, after tomorrow, tomorrow I read next two next two pages. pages. So let's, let's say I have read six pages. pages. Now, now I am in the habit of reading two pages every day. Okay, but let's say let's say if once I sit with myself and I really want to read more, then I will start reading more. So this thing happens. With, with the content, the content creation, creation also, also when you are, you are creating content, content for a specific platform, platform and you, you think, think that, that yes you can, can take out a, a, a bit more, more time because why this, this content, content posting content is really uh, you know is is something which i'm fin- finding very good for myself or this interests me so obviously that person will be pushed more to create content for linkedin or for let's say any other platform but in the starting i would say only one platform is good to go if he doesn't have that much of time so you have to look at your bandwidth so that is your answer to the question looking at the time and the effort you are uh, you know willing to put in so the next slide is how can they build a personal brand without spending that is, this is the most interesting part i am sure many people would want to know ki bhai bina zyada time money or effort ke how can you build a personal brand yeah next slide I have, I have seen that people say personal branding takes a lot of money. I don't have that much of time. I cannot put so much of effort because I'm into nine to five job. So the first first answer to that question is content repurposing. If you have learned the um, art to uh, you know repurpose the content, you can 
easily you can easily um, build your personal brand because see if somebody says that they want to build a personal brand the first step to build a personal brand is to start creating the content and this is where most of the people fail why they do not want to create the content and once they start creating content they burn out why because now they want presence on linkedin also they want presence on twitter also they want a youtube channel because this happened with me also i started all the things after linkedin i started all the things together and till date i do not have my youtube and podcast very much active no it it it, it is not why because i couldn't focus on all the channels because nobody can focus on all the channels let's say if you are um managing thousand things together so <coughs> each one of the things that you have in your hand is getting one divided by thousand attention so you can imagine ki bhai ek cheez ko kitni attention mil rahi hai because hazar cheeze aapke table pe hai karne ko that is the most important thing so content repurposing is very much important that you uh, let's say if you have created a post for linkedin uh, get those points make a twitter tweet out of that get those points make an article publish on medium okay and let's say if you can speak about pointers very briefly then make a reel out of that out of that and if you want to explain that in a detailed way make a youtube video out of that so you have to really uh, Learn the art art of content repurposing. यानी एक content को बारी बारी कैसे use कर सकते हो? Second is by being aware of this is my you know all time favorite thing. Um, everybody of us has smartphones and everybody of us has notes app in our mobiles. Okay. You also have a lot of free apps like Notion. You have uh, free apps by like for voice to text. I use voice to text why because I cannot type all the time. I um. generally i type a lot why because i have to talk to my team members so i type through uh, whatsapp messages and obviously i am writing articles i am writing content so there's a lot to be written so i use voice to text app so you have multiple apps in your phone which you can use now now let me tell you one very important thing your brain gets more than 70000 thoughts every single day okay so 70000 thoughts ko to aap record nahi kar sakte let's say out of those 70000 thoughts let's say you have 1000 thoughts uh, which are very creative okay we all get those thoughts it's just that we don't realize but we get those thoughts okay let's say 1000 thoughts also recording it's very uh, impossible like documenting those 1000 thoughts because then you'll have to sit with your phone every single every sing every second actually okay which is not possible and which is not practical also so out of those 1000 thou- thoughts at least you will have 100 thoughts which you can uh, document even even if not let's say 100 at least 20 thoughts you can record yes 15 to 20 thoughts can be recorded how let's say you are reading something when you are it happens with me i'm sure it happens with you also let's say i'm uh, listening to a podcast or i'm reading something uh you know or i am sitting in my balcony i observe something you some you get some thoughts in your mind so you need to be aware of your surroundings you need to be aware of what you are listening you know not just for the sake of listening you need to be aware of what you are reading and whatever thoughts that come to your mind while doing all these activities you need to document those activities on your phone which you have handy most of the times using notes apps like notion like the phone notes app like like voice to text app you have multiple free apps to document okay notes apps so once you have documented those feelings i'll tell you the best content that i have written till now doesn't come from my brain it comes from my heart why because it comes directly and it comes the way we speak okay and the way we, if we start writing in the way we speak then we keep the audience hooked why because this is the way people really want to connect to nobody wants to read shashi tharoor kind of a, you know uh, writing english writing nobody wants to okay so this is one very important point if you really want to play the big game in content writing journey content creation journey uh, this is like being aware of your surroundings and documenting whatever things that come to your mind uh this and this process helps you in storytelling which is the third point here that 
मैंने देखा है पर्सनल ब्रांड में व्हाट हैज रियली हेल्प मी इज आई राइट स्टोरीज स्टोरीज नॉट रियली दो स्टोर की एक राजा था रानी था नहीं डेली लाइफ की जो मेरी जो वट एवर एक्सपीरियंस आई एम गेटिंग आई एम डॉक्यूमेंटिंग दैट आई एम प्रिपेयरिंग स्टोरीज आउट ऑफ दैट एंड आई एम शेयरिंग इट विद लेट से आई गेट ऑन अ क्लाइंट कॉल I he has some questions. I answer those questions and I uh, prepare a LinkedIn post out of that and I put it there. Why? Because there would be many people who would be having the same questions which that person was having. Let's say here people ask me question. Ria asked me one of the questions. Okay, and now uh, whatever question Ria asked, I'm sure many uh, of us would be having that question. Harshita also asked me one one question. She, uh, I mean, many other people would also be having that question. so through stories you are able to target a much bigger audience who would be having the same problems which you were having or with the other person about which you are writing was having okay so this is the way to build a personal brand and build a personal brand without spending money and you know much of effort or time and next is by having an open mindset very very important let's say there was this um, point of perfection when you uh, run after perfection that means you do not have the open mindset you are not that flexible ki bhai post karke dekhte hain dekhte hain kya result aata hai no nobody does that they really want it to be very perfect so for building a personal brand you should have an open mindset ki let's say if if this doesn't work something else will work so that is very 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 important next is by using free tools available so let's talk about free tools now Yeah. yeah so for free tools let's say for the content creation you do not need a tool you have google docs with you you have let's say if you are using uh, uh windows then you have ms word with you okay and if you are using uh, let's say mac you have pages app with you so you have free tools with you for writing okay then let's say for uh, image creation i have told you you have canva you have all the templates for any of the uh, uh image cover in profile images or background images or banners or infographics so you have canva at your disposal you also have other uh, apps also i mean i think crello is there so uh, we have these apps for um, you know images let's say for audio for podcast i've already told you you have this uh, app called anchor which will really help you play the big game in podcasting everybody who you see nowadays who has you know uh, uh, subscribed for paid platforms like buzzsprout which i have also done uh, they initially were on anchor and they tried their best to build a following there okay and uh, then for the video you already have uh, your phone where there is video editor there Uh, already integrated so you do not need a fancy video editor you also have it on your laptop so do not go for the paid versions you have free versions which you can download from there you have filmora you have other let's say i have a mac so i use i movie which is freely available to me so you do not need a paid tools to make videos so we have covered images we have covered text we have covered uh, audios we have covered videos so let's say if you have a team let's say if you are an entrepreneur you have two or three members you want to uh, <coughs> manage those people so you have trello there okay trello is a board okay uh, so you can use those uh, work board workplace boards to you know uh, those are also freely available i also use trello <coughs> to manage my team and to manage the daily tasks so you have another let's say many people say that we want to have a to do list app so i use tick 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 is the name of a to do list okay which i use which is all, again freely available i am not really using paid tools to you know work on a daily basis so these are the tools that you can use and you can also get it if you have any uh, let's say you want to want a free tool but you don't do not know if that tool exists or not so whatever is your query just put that into google and just write free tool for this free tool for that so you will understand whether you have any tool available for that or not but most of the times for everything you have free tools available nowadays next is by outsourcing obviously let's say if you can afford some amount of money which you think you can spend 
you know for hiring somebody or for as a freelancer and you can give some money to that person um you you just hire that person and get the content written or get the content posted or get the engagement done on your platform so whatever because see i have clients who sometimes just get the content written they take care of the engagement on the platform i have clients who just say that we want you know uh, engagement to be done where content is taken care of by in house team so everybody has a different requirement so you can also outsource if you do not have that kind of time let's say you are into a 9 to 5 job you are earning 30000 a month you think that you can uh, you, you can manage 3 to 5000 rupees every month to spend and because you want the personal brand to be built so you can obviously approach people on linkedin who are willing to take that much of amount and can spend some uh, time on your platform and build platform, build a, build personal brand for yourself okay if you do not have time so this is how it works So Harshita if you have any questions or anybody from the audience have any questions please let me know Okay so let's move to the next slide which says yeah or <coughs> just telling the audience that if they have any questions related to the topics that we have discussed so far they can write it in the chat box and we can take up their questions and yeah I am I'm just noting down all the points Kavita so they are amazing they are uh, like quite things that we have already heard but your stories and the way of telling is just amazing so yeah Awesome, awesome, awesome. awesome. Next is how it will benefit them in their businesses. Okay, next slide. So, how building a personal brand will help them in uh, building their person uh, businesses. So that's very important to know. So, first of all, uh, whenever I get uh, calls from clients, they always say that we want to build build thought leadership in this specific industry. So, let's say I come from personal branding industry. Okay, whenever I have heard it from many prospects that. Uh, we were searching for a personal branding strategist on linkedin and when we put uh, personal branding strategist in the search bar your name came up on the top so that is something which is fantastic you know this is like um, you know, this is fant- this is like music to my ears that i get to hear these things why because i have optimized my profile in such a way for personal branding that i get on the top uh, of their search so how did how did this happen this happened why because i am writing content on personal branding not just my profile is optimized but i have built my thought leadership in the personal branding domain so if you are thinking uh, don't be uh, misguided here i would say if you haven't started till now i would say just start the content creation process and once you have started the content creation process you will yourself figure out <coughs> that what is the path you want to be on what is it that you want to create your content on what is that topic what is that thing okay so you will understand that so building thought leadership is one of the benefits that personal branding gives you because you are constantly sharing your content on one single topic so people know you from that topic okay let's say i will give you one more example uh, every content that i put out uh, except obviously text is not there when it comes to imagery or the videos or video thumbnails everything is in blue and yellow color okay and i have got a lot of dm from people that is yellow is your favorite color so i was like yes it is one of my favorite colors but it is one of my brand colors so they are like whenever we see a yellow content coming up in our feed we always think without even looking at the name that it is from branded kavita so this has really helped me use color to you know to stand out in the branding industry or in their feeds because i know when they will see my yellow color they will understand that this is from branded kavita i'm sure many other people are also using it but this is how you uh, you know stand out or you build a thought leadership you uh, create that unique presence so that is why harshita says your uh, my color is purple that's great Awesome. So next is increases trust, reputation, and visibility. When let's say um, you are posting every day, okay, and let's say five hundred people follow you on a specific platform, whatever it can be, let's say Twitter or um, you know Twitter or LinkedIn, okay. Let's say LinkedIn, okay. So you have five hundred people following, uh, and you are posting daily. 
that means you, you are coming up in their feed daily every single day you are coming up in their feed so let uh, now let's say you are a content writer now um there is one another content writer xyz uh, now you two people approach somebody okay who is your audience okay now he has two resumes on his table or let's say one resume with a linkedin profile where he has seen the content of that person and then he has another profile lying on his table which he doesn't know which he hasn't heard from he doesn't know where this person comes from he doesn't have an active uh, linkedin profile or uh, or any online presence for that matter who would he prefer he would definitely prefer that person whom he has seen every day putting content why because he can relate to that content because he has seen that person in his feed every single day so what does personal branding do for you it builds trust for you it builds reputation for you it builds visibility for for you so obviously you would be buying a nike brand shoe then rather than buying something local which doesn't have a brand but price is at the same thing so you are willing to spend 5000 rupees on a nike shoes why because you know it's a nike shoe it will give you that performance which you need right but the local shoe which comes at 5000 or let's say 4000 rupees a thousand rupees lesser than you will not buy that shoe why because it doesn't carry that brand so that is the power of personal branding so it will give you that trust that reputation that visibility that reliability that people are ready to give you money and for their services for whatever you know things that that person is selling okay so that is very important next is boost inbound leads and conversions so how does uh, you know personal brand help in inbound leads and conversion i will give you my example when i started posting on personal branding when i started uh, using this uh, element of storytelling and uh, how i am helping the people so people started uh, messaging me that how can you help me in building a personal brand why because i was posting constant cons, uh, consistently i was posting every single day if there were times when i used to post thrice you know in i mean three times a day on linkedin so that really helped me get on their feeds every day and this helped me you know uh, build my trust and that's why people contacted me i have till date i'm telling you till date i haven't uh, done anything outbound no cold emailing no cold messaging no dming no asking for work till now all i all the work that i have got till now is through inbound leads no approaching anybody and now after you've got leads the conversion lies in your hands how authentic you are how much of you know credibility you have in the market so all these things depend on me that how i convert how i get on calls with clients or with prospect and convert them into my clients so this all happened through building up strong personal brand i always say this is go go and google me i know it is like one person i'm just one person there 99% is still to go and personal branding is an ongoing journey it's a lifelong process so i will keep on doing that so that people do not hesitate to approach me when it comes to building their business so that is very important thing and next is opens new opportunities of speaking and getting published obviously when you have a let's say now i'm speaking here i never approached harshita harshita approached me right why because she could understand she, she could understand that yes kavita could add value to my audience so so she approached me so this is again an inbound thing for me so i got opportunity to speak here i will tell you 3 years ago i uh, went to bada business private limit that is dr vivek bindra's from uh, i think if you know uh, dr vivek bindra he has millions and millions of followers on youtube okay i didn't go, uh, get the job okay 3 years ago i'm talking about 3 3 and a half years ago one year ago 
a team member from uh, bada business private limited approached me to complete the to do the entire linkedin course i have done the entire linkedin course with dr vivek bindra i am one of the top creators with uh, within his community and uh, now i am being approached for twitter also from this company from this firm big big a uh, person vivek bindra okay he has recognized me that that this girl is a top creator in our community okay so this is the biggest thing so how did i do that i did that by being active on linkedin for 2 years in 2 years i turned the tables so this is how you know personal and this is how this happened this happened through my personal brand and i felt like a celebrity why because there are big studios there and you know uh, there was this makeup man food like celebrities you know you just have to sit and they do the makeup they do so i recorded the entire linkedin course it took somewhere around one month to do that and it was amazing it was amazing feeling i'm telling you so how did this happen this happened how did this opportunity came by uh, come my way so this came my way through building a personal brand and this is just very small achievement if i think about this thing this is very small because i want to do big things in life it will take time i know there are distractions there are external circumstances but if you do not give up on building a personal brand you can always start you know if you can always resume the work where you left from you can resume from that point so that is fine next is you become an influencer i am not yet there that i become whatever i say people follow me blindly but yes it has really helped me you know and i know i would be an influencer in the coming years or maybe in the coming months i am trying my best so when you uh, keep on working on your personal brand it will really help you in being an influencer i've seen people becoming influencer in front of me and getting endorsements and getting uh, collaboration opportunities and you know promoting other brands so i have seen people you know are doing this thing next is people follow you for yourself and not uh, again i am yet to achieve that stage where people follow me for myself yes people are still doing that what i mean here from this point is let's say right now i am uh, uh, doing my personal brand i am uh, uh, selling my personal branding service to the international as well as domestic clients they are taking it okay they are taking my consultation call let's say in the coming years i want to sell something of this um, uh, you know not really from the personal brand domain let's say i want to sell my handbags okay or maybe my t-shirts okay uh, very different from this topic okay from this industry i work in but if people follow me for myself like what i do okay and they uh, follow me for that thing and not really for the uh, niche i am working on uh, working in so they will be willing to buy those t-shirts those handbags from me so that is one thing that is the stage i want to reach let's say gary v if he says something if he sells t-shirts today those will sell okay that is one thing that i really want to achieve and it will take years it took years for gary v it took years for digital pratik it took years for anil alabadia it will take years for us also okay and so we do not have to give up on that process next is you can sell whatever you want again i told you this point you can sell whatever you want once you have build a strong personal brand aap kuch bhi bech sakte ho aane wale time mein because why people now believe you people now trust you agar elon musk if somebody let's say elon musk at some point of time tweets things happen why because and i have seen people giving me examples over calls that we want to be like elon musk but they are not ready to do something which kavita is doing itna hi nahi karne ko taiyar hai to how would they reach to the path of i mean to the point where elon musk stands today or gary v stands today so efforts have to be put the there has to be that vision and usko karne ke liye there has to be that interest that willingness which startup owners do not have which freelancers do not have which marketers do not have okay they are not willing to put that time effort and forget about money time and effort they are not willing to put that so these are the benefits of personal brand so if you have any questions please let me know wow thank you thank you for allowing me to speak here so if you have any questions please let me know 
I am surprised nobody has any questions. Uh, okay. Firstly, thanks a lot uh, for sharing all the experiences, all the examples here, Kavita. It was mm -hmm. an amazing session for me. Like I was taking notes uh, side by side. And yes, anyone has any questions, they can put it out in the chat box. And we can wait for like two more minutes and then we can wrap it up. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have some water. Uh, you are speaking like continuously. So yeah, no, no. I am having water also in between. Whenever you ask question, I have water. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Anyone has any questions or any feedback for the session? They can uh, let us know. Awesome.